a month worthy. <laughs> Hello, I am Erica, I am I. And from the echo I know you can hear, you know that we are in my gym. Also, if you hear like birds crowing, the window's open, so what are you gonna do? Today, I wanted to go ahead and review for you a product that I've been seeing kind of all over Instagram, the coach I'm going to work with for my prep this year, actually posted it on one of his clients, and I was like, what is that? And I thought, why not give it a shot? Because it seems like a great home workout device. It takes up very little space and it looks like it could be very effective for what it says it does. Today we will be talking about monkey feet. It's exactly like you think. So the premise with this product is that it allows you to hold dumbbells like a monkey would hold on to a branch with its feet. So here's the actual product. It's a universal one size fits all sort of situation. It kind of reminds me of a snowboarder's boot if that makes any sense. All right, that was rude. It says that it attaches easily to most dumbbells, works great in overcrowded gyms, have a complete home gym using only monkey feet and dumbbells. Mm. Isolated exercise with no bulky machinery, designed by a professional athlete, build hip, quad, hamstring, and glute muscles fast. Now to test out this product today, I did wait for my leg day, and I decided to replace what I would normally use cables for with monkey feet, because I do have a full gym that I built myself that I've shown in my previous video about building my gym. Full disclaimer, I'm not gonna show you my full Tuesday leg day workout. Uh, I want those to be their own videos because I do about two to three leg days a week and they're all for targeting different parts of the glute and the leg and it's just all like a it's like a whole thing but I did do a couple exercises strictly with monkey feet to show you sort of how it works so let me show you what I normally start with one of the exercises I usually start with are leg extensions this isn't the very first exercise that I like to do but it is one of them because it just lights up your quads and it gets your legs ready for a really good pump what was that you like my outfit <laughs> thank you so much for noticing she really just tripped anyway Thank you so much for noticing. It's my muscles and donuts. Here's my code if you want to save some money And I'm so sorry for what's about to happen Honestly, quad extensions are probably one of my favorite workouts. I do them even on my hamstring heavy days. Today was sort of a mixed day, but as you can see, it just engages your core. It engages your entire lower half. And then I do a couple more exercises that are more quad based, and then I move on to more hamstring calf building. One of the exercises I tried were donkey kicks. I did not do them standing in hindsight, probably should have, but I don't usually do them. I usually do them in all fours like you see in the video here. And the number one thing I found with monkey feet is that at first it feels very off balance. It feels like it's sort of teetering like this, which I guess maybe it is. I don't have the strongest ankles in the world, but this does provide a lot of ankle support. Uh, I think it was just a sensation that I needed to get used to because it was very weird to, to feel that because I'm used to a flat surface for when I would do a donkey kick with a machine. So that would be probably my number one critique of this is that I want the bottom boot to just be longer to cover my whole foot and I think maybe it wouldn't feel as weird, but the boot definitely is secure. I will say the dumbbell does roll in the boots. Uh, which doesn't mean that it's not secure, but it does mean that it's not an airtight fit, though it doesn't advertise an airtight fit. Overall, it felt pretty comfortable. I put it super tight on my ankle just because I was nervous about it, sort of feeling tilty because I do have a knee injury and I didn't want to risk twisting it. I didn't ever once feel that I was at risk for twisting my knee, but it was just something that once the idea was in my head, it sort of stuck with me. So let's talk about how monkey feet functions. It has pretty user-friendly functions. So basically how you get the dumbbell in is you fold your device in half, you place a dumbbell inside it, and then you simply open the top back up, you place your foot inside of it, and then to lock it in place, you use your big lever on the side and crank it like you would a uh, like a boat ratchet for a trailer cover. And then to release it, it does have a nice quick release lever right on top that when you snap it, it opens right back up. So if something were to happen that you needed that off of your foot right away, like an emergency situation, you could just hit the switch, it's totally off, good to go. 
and that it does have size adjustments as well. As far as the claims that the company makes, it says that it can support up to 160 pounds. So I would imagine, you know, you're not gonna put a 100 pound dumbbell on this, I wouldn't think. I think that's more for if I wanted to attach it to my Smith machine bar and push up with my feet in a leg press, it would keep it secure and it would be able to support up to 160 pounds of weight. I don't recommend doing that on a normal Olympic bar. If you were going to do that, you would wanna do it on a Smith machine, something that can catch, something that won't fall on you or flip you backwards or forwards. It's a pretty stationary object. Now, do I think this is a complete home gym creation like the box claims? No. I think that my leg extension machine is definitely more effective than this in regards to quad extensions. Hamstring curls definitely feel a bit better on this machine than it does trying to lay flat and doing them on my bench. I think you would definitely use this as more of a hamstring product. You could definitely see growth with your quads using this product 100%. I found more success with this with doing things like my side kicks and my back kicks and things like that that I would normally use a cable machine for uh, and are very hamstring dominant. Let's talk about quality. Quality wise, it's a very high grade plastic. I don't think that if I were to drop like a 10 pound dumbbell on this, that it would crack and break. The plastic definitely feels industrial. It feels like an actual workout product and not just like a cheap sort of imitation of something that could work. It's very well made, very well constructed. The only thing that I worry about is right here, this little metal piece. I worry that maybe with sweat, it will start to rust and affect the machine, but I won't know that until a lot longer down the road. I also keep my products pretty well greased, so that doesn't really happen that often, but just note that that is potentially something that could happen. As far as the bands too, they do feel like a industrial plastic as well. It doesn't feel like a cheap rubber. It doesn't feel like something that's going to fray. Like it bends pretty easily, so it's not uncomfortable, but I don't think I would be able to rip this with my hand in half. I, I don't think it's something that's going to tear from pressure or to give from pressure. As far as the idea of this, this is a genius idea. Once I saw this, I was like, that could be a very good asset in my workout routine. I do like it a lot. I think it's definitely something I'll have to get used to. I've never used a product like this because a product like this has never existed. Would I recommend this product? Do I think it's worth the money? If you have a gym membership, no because there's plenty of machines that do what this does. But if you're like me, somebody who prefers working out at home, buying her own equipment and customizing her own gym, definitely. And especially with the panorama still going on, I can't say the actual word. You can't say the actual word. I don't know why I've heard that if you say the actual word in your video, bad things happen, I don't know. But <laughs> while we're still going through a phase where things are still shutting down and opening back up and we don't really know what's going on, this is definitely, Something just completely broke upstairs. I'll figure that out later. It's definitely a great addition to your gym. And especially somebody who is glute focused, much like I am on my body. This is not a product for somebody that skips leg day. Price wise, after tax, it was about $84. I think that it's definitely worth the money and it's really well made. I was gonna be so disappointed if this came in made of like cheap plastic and metals that are like chipping and rusting and could rust easily. And you know, it's a very high quality product and definitely worth the price. I'm kind of shocked that it's so cheap because normally something like this, especially now where weights are marked up 75% at least, I would think that something like this would be $179 and not just $79 before tax. So is monkey feet worth it? That's totally based on the user, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that absolutely, yes it is. I 100% think that it is worth it. And if you are a gym enthusiast, athlete, whoever you may be, and you think that this product could really benefit you, I highly recommend investing in it. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you bought this product. If you have, what do you think of this product? What are the different workouts that you've done with it? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next week.